Hey, it's Ruben from the shop. Uh, just got back from some garage selling. Had some pretty good luck this morning. Uh, I got more than this, but these were the highlights. I figured we'd go through them real quick. A couple of these items I saw right off the bat coming up from, I don't know, from the street. I saw these two guys. I was pretty sure, and then later confirmed, they're Louis Marx astronauts. That's the Marx company. That's the... Uh, you can't really see it, but they were priced at 50 cents. I saw them on the table. I asked the lady. I was like, oh, these are cool. She's like, we got those at NASA. And I was like, all right, cool. I'll take them. So I paid a dollar for those. They're worth, I don't know, a pair worth 15 bucks. Saw this uh, collection of cassettes. First thing I saw was a Santana and this Led Zeppelin three. The Santana and the Deep Purple are actually Italian imports. But this is the gem. This is Led Zeppelin 3. Kind of an interesting case. Never seen a case like that before. Pink cassette. Um, so it turns out this is the original 1970 release on cassette. So I can't imagine how cool you had to be back in 1970 to go into the record store and be like, I'm looking for the Zeppelin 3 cassette. So there it is, folks. 1970 cassette. 51 years old, keeping it in the collection, very happy. Uh, got some clothes. I always find good clothes at garage sales. Um, we'll start with his underwear. It's a three-pack of Hanes. Usually I wouldn't buy <laughs> underwear at a garage sale, but I'm fairly certain these are new. There's only two pairs in this pack of three. 1987, you see. Made in the USA, size 40, 100% cotton briefs. These are going to sell well for me. I'm thinking I paid a dollar for the pair. And I'll probably get 40 bucks there. And a few other items. I saw this coming up from the street. Knew it was going to be a bark cloth Hawaiian dress. I have it turned it inside out to show you the label. It's a Walta Clark. Also in Arizona and Texas. In Nevada. Uh, this is an interesting wrap dress. I'm not exactly sure how it works. It's all just one piece of cloth and then has kind of uh, ties around the neck. I think I found a similar one. I'll put up a picture right here. Sorry for the weird cropping. I didn't want to share another person's face. But uh, yeah, pretty cool thing. Uh, paid a dollar for it. Got this guest jacket at the last garage sale. So... Right around noon, it is made in the USA. Uh, this classic trucker denim has this cool question mark logo. Paid three bucks for that. That has to be worth 40 to 50 bucks. And finally, I got this counting, <clears throat> excuse me. I got this counting crows t-shirt from 1999, double stitch. Made in Mexico. Still, cool thing, XL. They wanted a quarter for it. I got this at 11 o'clock. So, on the second day of a garage sale. It was just folded up under some clothes. So, I might have been the first person to see it. But, I mean, come on, garage sellers. Step your game up. Actually, don't. So, uh, found this. They wanted a quarter for it. I gave them a dollar. And... The lowest comp on eBay is 100 bucks. Realistically, I think I can get 70 for it. So that's what I found at the garage sales today. Thanks for checking me out. My name's Ruben. Hoping you're having a good day because I'm having a good day. Let's talk again soon.